Welcome to Five Pints In, the show where we're literally five pints in. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. So, before we get started, I just wanted to uh, announce that we're doing something special this weekend. Uh, we're going to start it for the Patreon uh, subscribers uh, after the games at the weekend, after the Man City game on Saturday. Uh, and after the West Ham game on Sunday, we're going to do a, a three-way phone call, just a short thing, um, just getting some uh, instant reactions from the game from the three of us. So uh, if you're already subscribed to the Patreon, uh, keep an eye out for that. You should get notified as soon as we post it. And then um, if you're not subscribed to the Patreon and you want to go sign up, you can go to patreon.com slash five pints in. Uh, the support really means a lot from you guys on there. Um, and that bit, that bit could be eight pints in, though. Yeah, so we're also going to post the uh, on the Patreon. We're going to post the uncut episodes as well. So if you if you've got uh, you know sensitive ears, I, I would maybe steer clear of that. But if you want to hear that, patreoncom slash five pints in. Um, and I do want to actually jump over to one of uh, a comment we got from a Patreon subscriber to kick off the episode, just to kind of uh, roll in from the last episode for those who listened. Um, our subscriber Paul says uh, we were talking about the Newcastle takeover uh, and we don't want to hammer this home too far but we were talking about the three players that we would sign and then the manager that, that you would sign if you were in charge in Newcastle and I just wanted to get your thoughts on his ideas. He agrees with Mourinho uh, becoming the manager there which I mean I think is the probably the highest possibility yeah. Uh, yeah. especially with Conte going to Tottenham which we'll get to in a little bit uh, but the three players he picked um, that he could see going as Koulibaly, Loftus Cheek, and Martial. I think we mentioned Koulibaly, but Loftus Cheek and Martial are two new ones. What do you guys think? I yeah. mean, is that Loftus Cheek yeah, as I... of late? Yeah. Yeah, I could see it happening. I'm not so. I'm not 100 percent with Loftus Cheek. I think he's he's reestablishing himself, and I think uh, he'd be happier staying where he is. But, but no. It de- well, look, it depends. Look, Newcastle could be relegated by the time they can spend money. All right, but... <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, but uh, but he... All the he all the Chelsea... Jose might not want to leave Roma. I think he's sitting third or fourth in the league. Uh, he's also just lost 6-1. I think Eddie, Eddie Howe was thrown in the mix. And somebody said Eden Hazard, which is a good show. No, that's that's the worst show. Why is it? I think he's prepared to let no. go. I know he didn't play today. No, he's not going to... That's the biggest joke in the world. He's not going to come back to the Premier League. I had this discussion with you the other day. He's not going to... The only reason he left the Premier League was because he was getting beat up. He's not He's not going to come back to the Premier League to a shitter team and Bye. still get beat up. You know, it, it It doesn't make any sense. He doesn't need the money. He doesn't... He's gone to Madrid. He's He's been beat up. He's He's had his injuries. He's oh, the money, con. They all need the money. Whatever they've got is he's, enough. He's not going to... He, first of all, he would never come back to the Premier League and go to someone other than Chelsea. You, you don't can't don't even... I can't no, believe can't I even said that. those words. If Newcastle are in fairly decent no. shape in January and spend the amount of money no that they've got to spend, a decent manager comes in because Unai Emery's now said no, I think. Which, who says he's a decent manager anyway? He's decent in Spain. Yeah. He's wasn't I, really I don't like decent him. I in he's England. Terrible. Yeah. Well, he won, didn't he, he won the Europa League with Sevilla? Sevilla, like, I think he's okay. Times. He is. Well, when he was at Arsenal. Villarreal. Villarreal, yeah. And Sevilla. Oh, both yeah. of them. Yeah, well, yeah, Villarreal but afterwards then, Spain, right? Even there. Oh, no, he yeah. went to Sevilla after Villarreal. No. Look, Sevilla's a better team, right? They should have done that already. They should have put the new manager in already. Yeah. But you know, how that's long? the thing for me. The oh, yeah, the, the fact that they fired Steve Bruce without having a manager appointed, why wouldn't you? I mean, it's yeah, strange. Like, like you said, why just keep giving them games and getting abused? But, you know, it, it is. It's like they're doing everything by ear. And it's like, didn't didn't you just fork a load of money into this? And I think not prepped I this? think they need to get the manager in now, too, before it's too late to attract you know, because like if they get Mourinho, they can attract players. But if but they what wait, Mourinho comes in, tell you what they could end up doing. They can end up putting the manager in now, and he and he doesn't turn it around because of the players he's got today. Yeah, and then they fire him in January. Well, they they have to spend in January. Of course, they have to spend. Hey, no just, more. You can't give, say we're taking this, we're having this takeover. Give but a... not money, in, but we're not spending yeah. anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, give <laughs> give Nuno the jo job now, and if, oh, he, if he doesn't do well, just idea. fucking sack him like everyone else is doing. You, you know? know, actually, Nuno is not a bad shout. Don't. Uh, if I was him, I would I would go live somewhere for a year, not with no human contact, and just go live in the wilderness and just decompress for like a wash year, off, and then wash off that Spurs. Oh dirt. my god, that's stank, <laughs> and then just come back and. And he'll be a better person for it. I hate what they did to him, man. We can get that in, into that later. I'm sorry. That's all right. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of... We've... Yeah, to be honest with you, the way he performed against United, yeah, it was, I wasn't surprised. Yeah. I was about to say, it's not worth but... a sacking, though, but... We've got... He's just too nice a fella for me. That's that's what it is. So, you, let... you, you it's, I mean, it's, but... it's just... It's clearly the players and the drama that's going on with, with amongst the club. How... I mean, they did this with they they screwed Pochettino over Pochettino over who I still think is one of the best managers in the world, and they just did it to Nuno who I think is an up and coming like he's got a, he's got a good football brand. Yeah, exactly. He was, a, he was a goalkeeper as well, wasn't he? Yeah. And so, I the the disrespect that they did to him. So let's let's actually while we're in this topic, we've got a lot to talk about, obviously with West Ham and Man City and how the two came together in the cup. Uh, but let's keep on this. Uh, so look at Tottenham firing Nuno and Man United holding on to Solskjaer, right? We, we laughed last week about how it was breaking news that United are going to keep... And then there was breaking news that they were considering, after we put the episode out, there was breaking news that they were considering firing them. Nothing's happened. They, you know, they, they got a, a lucky goal. So, no, oh, something I'm happened. To Tottenham. Sorry? I, yeah. That's why Conte went to Tottenham because he knew he was nothing was going to happen at Man United. So, but is there something to be said? Tottenham took control of the situation and said, "We're gonna, we're gonna, Conte's out oh, there. Okay. He need, we need a manager. United are probably looking. at yeah. I mean, United had to have considered him, right? Of course, yeah. They jumped the gun, yeah. They jumped the gun and got him first, yeah. Yeah. So obviously, I mean, and I just want to go back to because I was so set. And I don't know if you guys remember this in the, uh, I think it was in the summer, maybe one of the first episodes we did, we came back with. I was sure Conte was going to Tottenham before Nuno did. Like yeah. I would, I would have bet the I house on it. to him before, hadn't he? Yeah. I think, I think Nuno was a sort of second or third choice because Conte turned him down. Mm -hmm. I think that's what happened. Mm. So, I mean, it's understandable if they've had the chat before. I don't, I don't get an 18 month contract though. There's no security there for him. It's it's like you're on trial. Yeah. And, and a, a manager of that stand and, you know, just won Serie A with Inter before he walked away. And they won Yeah. Him. You know what's funny, though? So Tottenham are notorious for not spending money, right? Especially on uh, with salary caps and all that stuff. I mean, Kane's on... They don't spend on wages especially, sure, but... Yeah. Conte walked away from Inter because they asked him first and foremost to take a pay, pay cut, cut, and then they said, "We don't have any money for you they to spend." The transfer fund, yeah. 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 So he's gone. Some of them have promised them money. No. Yeah, I mean well, they don't they? They the, need to. Yeah, there must have been a figure thrown at him though, because for him to walk away from Inter, being you know, it, it was a, it was about the money walking away, not necessarily it's for him. He's five players in the January window. Five players. I think that's what he said. That's what he said? Whoever they are and whatever they cost. Wow. So, they must have come to the agreement that, yeah. So do you think... I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's talked about it with Daniel Levy. I'm sure he's he's, he's earmarked them people. And, and he's got a valuation in his mind. But, yeah. yeah. Daniel, but, Le Daniel Levy thinks he knows football, though, doesn't he? So you got to... The good, like, oh, the good coercion, news is, you know? Harry Kane said he wants to stay now. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Again. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> No. He's only uh he's only no, two months late. He's shit. He turns shit. <laughs> yeah. He's doing nothing. And Conte may bin him. Honestly? You know? His transfer Honest performances. Yeah. His transfer of value in cut, in, cut in half. No, <laughs> you still need him. You would still take him and you still want him. Of course. You know, <laughs> like you, yeah. <laughs> you can laugh at him all Shut you up. want. <laughs> yeah. I just think his attitude stinks, mate. Of course it does. Yeah. Trying to weasel your way out of a club like that, like I no, I don't know. I don't know if it was weaseling. I just don't think he's it's intelligent a, it's a form. enough. I no, think no, no, no. To hide behind your agent, that's who's a weasel. his brother. That's who's also as dumb as him. There you go. It's even worse. I I just think I mean you know, for Tottenham to give Conte only eighteen months, there's got to be something 
promised, which you said five, like five players. I mean, that's a lot, you know. I mean, uh, especially in in January, did you say, or was there not a, like a? I assume it'll be January if he's only got that, eighteen months to turn that, it around. I mean, that's. I mean, that's blatantly saying that you blame it on the players, but they they have a tremendous. It is the player team sheet, like on 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 paper they have. Uh, like behind, I would say United and then Tottenham on paper have the best two teams in the Premier League. Do they? Do they lack though? Like England, uh, a, a real, a real like captain. Like when Vertonghen, of course, left. yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Harry I think Kane, he was a very strong Harry voice Kane in the dressing in, room. In no way, shape, or form is a captain. He's he's not even your lead by example. Well, and, then because... the, and then the co cap the vice captain is Larice. Isn't he? Exactly. Who's and, your goalkeeper? They, yeah, what, dodgy, what are you going to do back there? Lead the back now. line? What's that? They've been dodgy at the back for a long time. Though. Yeah, I mean, they had... When they had... Uh, I never understood them getting rid of Vertonghen and Alderweireld. Yeah. You know, I thought they've they were solid centre-backs. They've been with each other since they were like 13, yeah. I believe. Something something crazy uh, like that. At least Deli Ali can have another goal. <laughs> what, <laughs> a bad. new haircut or... Uh, yeah, what flavour Watsits has he got on his head this time, you know? It's ridiculous, but I, yeah, I mean, hey, it's not as bad as Obama Young wearing that headband with the with the hair in it. <laughs> Wait, did he? Hey, Obama Young can do whatever also. He wants. Obama it's Young can do whatever. It's a headband with hair hanging down. <laughs> One week he's wearing it, and the next week his hair is short. You know what's funny? It's embarrassing. <clears throat> we were we were watching um, uh, Newcastle Chelsea and City Palace over the weekend, and for some reason we were just laughing. At making the theme of this episode, uh, blonde streaks and Gucci headbands, huh. because you know Saint Maximin, and apparently this has been a thing for a while. He's got a, he wears a Gucci headband. Does he? But apparently he can't show the logo because mm. of like, yeah, you, like you could see it Premier though. League. Yeah, yeah, the pattern. So it's funny. Yeah, the pattern's obvious, but what's that? Because it's a fake. Yeah, but we were just laughing yeah, at. Yeah. Like well, he would have a fake one on, you know. No, <laughs> but um, we were a new one every game. We were laughing because like there's all these players: Connor, Connor Gallagher. Um, I mean, Madison, Madison, Grealish. Gre- Madison doesn't have the streaks, but Grealish. Uh, yeah, is it... you know, Chilwell. You know, you can go. You can go down the line. It, there's just a weird breed of like. What I guess what I wanted to get to though is what would you have said back in the day when you were playing if someone shows up in a Gucci headband? Like, what, or what would the team... <laughs> I was the worry. Yeah, right. But as a joke... I was, I was the only one with the really long hair back then, so I was standing out and getting abuse for the way I looked. I mean, you had some streaks. I, I fought. I used laces and everything, mate, to tie my hair off. All sorts of stuff. <laughs> Under wrap, laces, whatever I could find at the time. Yeah. No Alice bands, though. It was nothing like that. Didn't go that far. You know? Yeah, but, I mean... Th- Don't use a sock once. <laughs> <laughs> Tie two socks together. <laughs> how, how big do you think my head is? I was, I, 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 to be fair, to be fair, I was thinking ankle <laughs> socks. And I thought that would be a lot more funnier, <laughs> but I wasn't thinking... I got some pop up socks. Put some on my head like a bank robber. <laughs> But yeah, it's just it, it just makes me laugh because it like re- <laughs> sorry you be the easiest person to mark <laughs> fucking hold on to the top. Well, people grab me here before, mate. Yeah, sometimes I'm see scared you that coming through the corner. Oh my god, people Buddy, what? They were my own fans. Sorry, say that again. I said sometimes I was scared people in the chicken run were going to do it. Oh yeah, because you were that close, and they were my own fans. Yeah. It's funny. It reminds me of uh, like I've always found it so weird in the uh, NFL in American football. The hair hanging out the helmet, if it goes across the touchdown line, it counts as like if it was just that that goes across somehow, it counts as a part of your body. So the hair. It's like imagine today with if because I don't know any players that play with their hair down like you used to play, like with it that long, because no. they all tie it up and all that it's stuff a, and braid it. Yeah, yeah. But He's ima- a man bun United, don't he? Yeah. But uh, imagine Rea, that's got, funny, like, man. Bun United. But imagine, imagine the offside. If your hair was like out, does that count as, nah, you as can't a body score, part? You can't score with it. You can not with your hair. You can if you whipped it hard no, enough. No, oh, your it's hair can't. You can't. Yeah, 
I mean, if you had like one really thick thread, but it, no, but the, you <laughs> that's can the only you way can you legally help, score yeah. with it though. That's the question. What do you mean? Are you the question is are you allowed to score with no, it? No, 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 no. You can't physically score with your hair. Your hair cannot hit the ball unless it's like one giant stinky thick just one yeah. glob of dread. No, I'm, I know, but the rule is uh, like. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Will it count? Is but, the rule? Yeah. Possible, I mean, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Would it rule you off side? I mean, yeah, but your hair is not gonna. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting away from ourselves, but um, we just it, it just thought it was funny. Just you know, we're always reminded of like these. I mean, because we grew up with you, to, you know, talking about back in your day with the tough footballers and stuff, and then you see this, yeah. uh, the, these footballers, and and when I saw that it was a Gucci headband on on Sam Maximum, ever... it was just... at least now they've got allies. I was just the only. Time. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you ever think <laughs> it could have been the reason you were that slow? Or <laughs> <laughs> what slow? Who said I was slow? <laughs> Are you saying I was slow? I think I'm the only person who hasn't said it. No, you've said it like fifty. No, you, you've said it like you, fifty. You don't have to get defensive. You, you said it like me. fifty. Yeah, and I have. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> still, I, I was calling friends. you. I was calling you slow when I was about eight years old. <laughs> There's no point in being fast if you keep running past me. <laughs> Is it? Hey, it's a little nutmeg and you're gone. Yeah. I'm in my mid-40s then, anyway. I could still play. Yeah. yeah. I'd probably still take you today, though, with my dodgy knees. we got to get that I, on I, video. I'd end up taking you to the <laughs> fucking hospital. <laughs> with your dodgy knees? <laughs> yeah, with your dodgy knees. Um... Yeah, so alright, so let's let's try I just thought that was that was a funny a funny thing. I mean the obvious you know, these Well the thing is today there's that many people that do it that it doesn't look strange anymore. That's yeah. what, I feel like he's at it for so the long. People are, the regular people that look strange now. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure though uh, yeah, I mean a lot of our listeners I mean, from from what I gather are more old school kinda you know well, from what I know from the demographics that I look at, actually, or you, will be more old school fan. Like how you know? Yeah, the only it's obviously a big difference. The only person I can really think of is like Puyol, who didn't wear one, and he still like cut his fringe, didn't he? Yeah. He yeah. had a bob. He had a bob. Yeah. Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So let me explain the Chelsea shirt then again. Uh, yeah. many. <laughs> not again well again from two three weeks ago again because i hate putting this thing on i love pipping you at the post mate yeah I very know. last game of the day i needed a perfect score and i was absolutely dog shit before that yeah we, you, had, you had two points so in the predictor we do um yeah so it was two i think you had two points i had three or four and he had I'm seven miles ahead um <laughs> Nine games is shocking as well, by the way. Yeah, it was pretty. It's, it's pretty getting worse. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We had no, a good week the week before. This, I think. Uh, this is another one where you could look back and and say like, look, I mean, Brentford lost, uh, Liverpool drew, Arsenal won, City lost, Arsenal won, Arsenal won. You know, yeah. you know, you know, against Leicester um, away. Yeah, it was it, it was one of those where didn't see that coming. No, uh, Liverpool. Did you say that Liverpool drew? Yeah. Um, Could have lost as well. Yeah, it was a weird. It was a quite well. Yeah, Ta- yeah. Tottenham United, you know that. Yeah. I could have, anyway, couldn't it? Exactly. In, yeah, I put nil nil for that. And that was the I best think. game they could have had. Yeah. After the full game, playing Tottenham. It was yeah. abysmal. Yeah, but I mean, Everton have problems if he doesn't sort them out quickly. Tottenham. Yeah. Yeah. If he doesn't get them back up to speed. Because there's no Kane and Son anymore, which was everything for them. You know, Mora chipped in now and again, and that's gone. You know? How I, much do you I, think... How much, uh, not to keep I, going. See, I, yeah, I, I disagree. Not you can't... Liberty whatsoever. No, I think Conte will whip them into shape, but how much do you think comes down to... Do you think Kane kind of, like, rattled the cage a bit? Or and not to keep talking about Tottenham, because, I, I mean... We're gonna go on okay. about them, but yeah. do you, do you think that could be it, or do you think it's just lack of? I think he was he was looked up to, you know. He he was the 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 focal point of that team, wasn't he? 
and people looked up, looked up to him, and, and I think he maybe lost some of the respect. Yeah, I don't. But but it's not just that because he's drifting all over the place. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Look, we let's turn it to Man City. We were looking at him as a centre forward. Right? Yeah, because we we're, we're saying we lack a centre forward. Right. We're looking to him to fill that gap, and he doesn't even play there. It, he's playing. He's playing playing... Tottenham. Yeah. You know. He's, he's drifting play- all over the place. He's, he's ending up in the right back position sometimes. And and you think, what the friggin' hell is he thinking? Yeah. What's he, his body language is awful. Yeah. You know, he's, he, he hasn't gone, okay, he tried to sneak out the door, you know, and, and go to the top team in the league and, and get a massive payday. And it didn't happen. Now you're there, now, now stop everything. Yeah. Go back and give your all for them fans in that club. And it doesn't seem to me that he's done that. And I, he's doing that. I think, and that's a terrible trait to have. Yeah, yeah it's such as a, a captain, especially. It, it, yeah, well, that's my point. It's such a hard mountain to climb. As a captain, as the leading goal scorer of the club, the, arguably the one that gets you points, you know, is wanting to leave and go to the best team in your league. And like you said, like, lost the respect. Like, if, if that was my captain, if that was my goal scorer, I. I I wouldn't have wanted him to come back, you know, mm-hmm. especially what's happened. The and him li- staying on holiday for longer and all that shit. That's what I'm saying. We- he weaseled the whole thing. It wasn't just weird speculation. There was something to it. Yeah. Like, um, what, what What are you doing? Like, <clears throat> yeah, you're about to make best, the best biggest transfer of your life. Him. Like, Right? The game is they've had this season as a game he didn't play, and that was Man City. Yeah. 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 He's. I mean, he's. So, a lot of he said, "Look, he's he's got to he's got to turn that corner with 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 that team with them teammates with a new manager. That might help, to be fair, because now he's got somebody he needs to impress." Yeah, but you he know? had a new he had he had a new manager at yeah. the beginning of the season. Yeah, this... I, I, I think I think he was close to Pochettino as well. Oh yeah, he, he was. was yeah. yeah, when right. he left, affected him when he left. You know, I think. He may be seeing a lack of ambition with the club mm-hmm. for letting him go. And but then, then what? Jose Mourinho got him the most assists and got him like a record. There's a know? lot of issues, mate. That I mean, I just it, I, I think the way Kane act and treat the whole thing sums up, and because he's our England captain as well, don't forget that sums up or him or or I'm not even gonna say his name or what people call him. Um, either one or two of those are our captain. And for our captain... Who, Slabed? Yeah. yeah. For, for him to try, and I'll say it again, weasel your way out of a situation like this, it's just, it, it sums up England and it's, and our football in its entirety. Like, I, I, I got, I was thinking yesterday, I got so, fu- and like, furious because we, we could literally win everything. It's like we go into every game thinking we're going to lose. Like, if we had the confidence of Brazilians, Italians, French, Spanish people, we would win absolutely everything. We would have won the last 20-plus mm-hmm. years of football. It's just people, Harry Kane, the absolute, he impicks what, what English football has been, like, the last, not Premier League necessarily, but how England and that sort of thing has just been the last 20-plus years. Yeah. Yeah, and and that's that's. But so does Gareth. Terrible. So does Gareth Southgate. Exactly. You know, so does but, Gareth Southgate. Yeah, like Rooney was the complete opposite of that. Yeah, you know. But like, like innovative. No, yeah, and but then he was also. I mean, yeah, I guess that also contradicts my point. With he didn't do much with England, but it's like he also didn't have this team right now behind him. Yeah. You know? But then you could say he was also in the best Euro team ever with Scholes and yeah, yeah, yeah. Gerard. Sorry, yeah. Well, let's put Tottenham in the draw. Yeah, exactly. And I just yeah. wanted to I just wanted to finish off my thoughts about losing the predictor. So it reminded me that when Connor loses the predictor, that he has his uh his little Chelsea scarf on. Oh no 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 no. No, I have this on because we beat you in the Champions League. That's okay. that's all Well that's fine. Yeah. But it made me pull out this, which is a scarf from the Wembley game. The ninety nine Wembley game, huh? Ninety nine Wembley game. It's a little uh Dirty was- looking. <laughs> I was telling Connor it looks a little. Uh, it feels. You never washed it. Have you never washed it? No, never been washed. No, they ran out of toilet paper a couple of years ago. So. What? 
You should keep it authentic. That's what I'm. Mold. Yeah, that's what just I'm saying. Keep an eye out for the mold. Yeah, I know that might be. That might be what's uh, on it, but it feels waxy for some reason. But um, I've got a few new ones that I that I pulled out. But I think I thought this one was a little more appropriate because I was gonna say I thought he was gonna bitch at me for wearing a scarf over the Chelsea thing, and then I was gonna say you wore a scarf, and he's like, yeah, we won the Champions League, but it's like, yeah, we won against against you, <laughs> yeah. we, me, and um, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, we it's Gilligan. In nine times, so yeah, that was my whole. I had, you know, what that thing where you you go through an argument in your head, and then it never no. happens, <laughs> and then they don't say the yeah. the first response <laughs> that sets issues. up your whole argument. Yeah. So anyway, going from the the glory days of Man City to getting knocked out of the Carabao Cup against a great West Ham side, it looked good. I thought it was a really even game. Um, it was, mate. Yeah, and it, it it wasn't a dull game neither, was it? No. It, you know, it had a couple of changes. Uh, and they both sort of went for it. Mm-hmm. Nil-nil game. It was decent to watch. Um, and if you score all your penalties, you've got a chance, haven't you? Yeah. Oh my God! I wish I wish Grealish missed that so bad. You know, I feel uh, I feel for Foden. Of course, yeah. Uh, missing. missing. Oh, he's gonna have he's gonna have so much joy in his career, mate. I mean, life. you know, not, look what he did. He just came back. To go through that. He yeah. just came back and scored the first. <laughs> well, that's next game. Yeah. Uh, no, he didn't, because the next game was Palace. Yeah, 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 sorry. Um, I did think that. I just, <laughs> looking at it, it's like, I don't know. I mean, I, I love I, I'm, I love Foden. I think he's like... You don't feel bad that sorry for the best young talent in the world right now. Yeah, I know. Like, it's like you want everything to go well, but also he's going to grow more as a player if he comes through this adversity yeah. and stuff. I, so. I, I, think, mean, I think... There's no big deal made of it, neither. Right. You know, five years they've dominated, and it's everything's got to come to an end. It doesn't mean it's... It's gone forever. Yeah. You know, we'll pick up again next season. It's well. I mean, look. The good thing for me was that it was West Ham, and you know, talking of maybe we shouldn't have put Spurs down so much because yeah. now it's going to be Suds Law that they because they've got drawn them in the next round. You know. Yeah. Talking bad mouth and Spurs and, and West Ham. Have got hey, that's probably that's round. probably their best bet, right? As of right this second, it's not like Conte is going to come first oh, game. There'll be, no fear. there'll be no fear for West Ham. No. Not at all. You know what was my? Uh, oh no, I'm thinking of the Villa game. Never mind. Um, yeah, but I don't. I don't want to skip. Ahead. I just. I, I. I like. Not that I like Foden miss because I never like seeing an English man miss a penalty because we're the worst at them historically, statistically no, ever. I think. Not the worst. Pardon. We're not the worst at missing them. We're, the, we're good at missing them. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> my mistake. Yeah. We're, we're the. That's actually. Yeah. We're the best at that. Um. And like I said, I said this uh, like a week or two ago about him and his finishing. It's like, you know, um, you you do have, he does have other parts that he can improve, even though he's so superior in like, he's like, you guys were both saying he's the final product, you know, and who? Oh, no. no, he's not. What do you no, mean the not. final product? Like he, he he's like the no sorry not the final. I think you guys said like the complete player or something like that. Complete player, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which yeah, yeah. And we talked about it last episode. And I said he he wasn't because his finishing isn't. He he could be one on one with the keeper and and do, and I I don't think he's scoring. You know. But that's but, something but he, he scores. Get better, where that's where that's my point. That's my point to this is where he goes and misses a penalty. You know, you go up and to a penalty and not take it. For, for its full seriousness, then you're gonna go and miss. And this is I hope I hope it like humbles him, you know, and and makes him really look because it's not like he does need to improve on dribbling or passing, is it? Well, it's he's like, got the instincts. Next, he's got the stuff that's, you don't. That's my point. Yeah. Maybe this miss penalty in a huge game, them getting knocked out of a cup that they was like legally theirs for the last four years, is like kind of maybe weighing on him to be like, okay, I really need to step up my finishing, and then he goes and works on that and because i'm only saying this because he's also england's best player so yeah. i i do have to care for him you know you know i also think the way he's been playing nothing would have been said about it no 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 no. Yeah, that's my point stuff. like that's my point people get Cross like ne- never mind like because he didn't get he didn't get the respect he deserved for so many years and then in comes like including from you though no no i've yeah. always liked him I've always liked. I think there was maybe like you liked couple, him, but you. I think you there was maybe like a, a couple of months where you were all over him, and I wasn't. For and this then, reason, sure. And then I del- delved into him, yeah. and I was like, okay, okay. He's, he's absolutely amazing. Yeah. But it's like 
for um you kind of throw me off there but Sorry. yeah I don't know my my. I point, get I get what you're saying. Like he needed that to progress oh, my or whatever. Point is like that they bull up English players so much that now that we actually have this, I would say Jack Realist type of player that like you need to you need you need to hone this and tweet it correctly and wait 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 not, wait I I definitely take offense to you calling him a Jack Realist type of player. Oh sorry, Jack Wilshire. Jack oh, okay. Wilshire. Yeah yeah. Jack Wilshire type of player to where like you need to hone it. And he is going to be our... Better attitude than Jack Wilshere. 1,000%. He's going to be our best player for the, hopefully the next 10 years. So treat him accordingly. Yeah. Don't, don't bull him up like you've done with Kane. Yeah. You know, like... But <clears throat> before before we switch over to the... You know, I, I don't want to fall into a trap here of talking about the downfall of Man City and, and uh, you know, miss the upsides of West Ham. Mm. But I do want to just say the last thing on Foden there is... I think it was two years ago. He named his dog Carabao, so he has to now go home and uh, live, <laughs> live with that, which kind of sucks. But yeah. that's a bit silly, though, to be fair, because the name of that cup changes every. Cup I know, no, yeah. So he should have called him League Cup. <laughs> yeah. um, no, West Ham they're good, mate. I, yeah, I, I enjoyed watching Nobs come back out again. Scored and, a penalty, didn't he? And do well. I, I, I mean, look, I, I honestly feel that. Like we could we could use another central midfield player. I think West Ham needs to buy another holder midfield player to help out Declan Rice. You know, I know there's talk about Suchek, but but I think young Mark Noble would be perfect in there. Somebody who wants the ball all the time, moves the ball about, and gives Declan Rice that little bit of freedom. Yeah. Which I think he's been given a little bit more of this season. Yeah. To get forward himself, he's shown what a better player he is when he's allowed to do that. I'm in the Villa game. Mate, look, I mean, he's he's just dominating again, you know. I know, yeah. Kind of man, man sent off as well, but but they were already established and on top. I thought anyway, and in control of that game. Mm. Anyway, no matter how the scoring went, because they they've got that aura about them right now. Yeah, you know, it's like they they believe that they're going to win games when they go out there, and and whether it was a man sent off or not it was a concert. I think the fella before, yeah, them, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, should have gone. Yeah, Hollis, yeah, that, that with was the a, elbow to the face. Oh, yeah, right. That was some. That was some MM. That was like a, a yeah. something you see in the UFC, it was, wasn't it? He, he, de- he definitely purposely went for him. Yeah, there was two, there was two other things as well. I think we spoke on um, Johnny Evans at Leicester on Obama. Yeah, yeah. And Laporte on Wilf Zaha. Yeah. Exactly the same foul, almost identical places, with identical people around them. And one's a red card and one's a yellow card. Yeah. That's what does me. If they're both red, fine. But if they're not, then they're both yellow. Both, yeah. And the rest are still fucking it up. You know what I mean? They're still yeah. they're still not on the same page. Well, this, that does my head in, you know? This is why I don't get with all the tournaments. And I argued this point a while ago about the lower leagues, how... Um, I know you guys were against me, how they could be played in a neutral stadium because um, they do have the capacities for VAR and goal line technology to where you can go and, let's say, West Ham is a lower team than you. You got knocked out by a lower team, you know? So it's like you can go to the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup, get um, knocked out by, like, a lower team because they don't have the, the like, resources in their stadium or the... I mean, lower abs- leagues, not lower teams, lower leagues. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lower, lower leagues, leagues, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, no, I didn't, I, didn't, I. But, I, but, but this is this has always been the thing. Referees. Yeah, this has always been the thing. Premier League. Yeah. It was in the Premier League. It wasn't well, in yeah, the I know. Yeah, I know. But that, but that, yeah, which is even worse because, and it happened with the, yeah. it happened with the, I can't remember exactly. It happened with something with the Chelsea game, and they kind of just brushed over it, and it's like, if this was. Liverpool Man United it's like people the referee be, referee would be sweating because he would have to make a decision and it was like just yeah. because it was um not no not as many views it wasn't cared about which is even yeah. worse because they definitely have VAR in those games as well happy happy to see Lanzini come on and make a goal anyway yeah Villa. should have yeah. scored should you know, have put it in himself my favorite part of that game know. was when uh when Bowen pushed John McGinn to the ground. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I'm, but the way McGinn went, I fucking though. hate John McGinn. I hate him. And 
And Leslie Bowen pushed. I know Lanzini kind of pushed at the same time, so maybe it was two men pushing one, but he just fell over like a. I mean, it, it's. He's a bit prone for that. He's a bit prone for that. Yeah, it was just. It was, it was just, a bit more when when Grealish was there doing it also. Yeah, no, I know. Well, he's got it. Someone's fact, someone's going to take it over. I, it the time, you know, but. I think he's dove more than Grealish has this season. <sighs> That's saying a lot. Oh yeah, yeah I'm saying, but it Grealish has. is. Really, he's stopped it to an extent. He is. Next, you know? He really is. I mean, he I'm he sucks, still. but he's definitely stopped diving a little bit. Because he doesn't need to anymore. He's he's in a much better team. He never. You, know? you never need to dive. But the point is, well, like getting set pieces and stuff. He's probably he's probably being told to as well. I know that's what type of player he is. I'm not excusing it whatsoever, but. If Villa didn't have all those set pieces, all right. Well, who knows no, what's no, going no. on behind the scenes? I agree. I do agree with you because you see, you see, you see them at, like the last minute in the game, really and they gone. clearly can't oh. see across the pitch, and they scream about a penalty. Yeah, and or getting a sending off, and it's like you didn't see that sixty yards away. Why are you getting right, so right. emotional? You know. Yeah, but the point, the point I was trying to make is if if one's a yellow, the other can't be a red. Yeah. You know? yeah. But at some point, you've got to get together and say. I, mean, I, I don't really think anybody mentioned it, neither. Yeah. I mean, look, but I felt he was unlucky. I thought Johnny Evans's one was worse, and he just got the yellow. Yeah. So for me, I don't care if they're both red or both yellow. Just at least be consistent. Yeah. But they're still not, even with the VAR. It's, it's, it seems like it's never-ending. You know, the refs have, have lightened up a little bit this season as far as the divers and the... Even to the extent of booking, booking a couple of them, which we've been so yeah. far, yeah. Been praying for for ages, really, just but, the best game. But I haven't seen it in a little while. It don't I don't think that happened at all. Like I think that's something that happens when they there's like a shock yeah, to the yeah. system, and they they say, okay, we're gonna book exactly, the divers, yeah. and then it like fades out of the game again. You know, that's yeah, been happening yeah. for years. Yeah, I remember. Well, um, okay. Sorry, I was about it, to... it, it was still. I mean, the performance in general. You know, West Ham have gone there and. And kicked on from, from the the you know the euphoria of knocking City out. Yeah. And then City have took a little hit, really. I mean, it would it was a little bit flat against Palace. Yeah. So going down to ten men doesn't help, but I don't think it really hinders a team that good. Not when you're attacking them. Oh, oh no, who are, who are the best in possession anyway? I don't think ten against eleven matters to Man City, but no, no it, it was a little bit two two consecutive games without without scoring a goal, mate. Is it's unheard of, really, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, it, it it just begs that question again: Are we lacking that centre forward? Yeah. You know? I I but I still believe that even if we go out in January and buy one, it's got to be somebody who's going to be prepared to be rotated because he won't always play with the centre forward. Right. They'll still go with the false nine. Yeah. So it's got to be somebody. When I was thinking today, and I know I haven't given the credit that, that you do, Con. But somebody like Lewandowski right now oh my God. Just got, yeah. got himself another hat trick. <laughs> yeah. Perfect for City. Yeah. Perfect for City right now. As oh, Ronaldo course. would have been, I would have hated it, but as he would have been, yeah. Because that's somebody who's gonna hang around that central space and just bang goals in is sort of look, if Ronaldo was at was at Liverpool, Chelsea, uh or or Man City right now. Whoever he was at would be sitting top of the league. Yeah. With with space between them and the next team. Of course. But I still wouldn't want it. You know what I mean? I'm I'm sort of still in between whether he is he's he's the poison and the cure. I think right now he's the poison and the cure because another team would use him better with what he's doing yeah. on his own. United aren't good enough to have him. So in, I, I look I, I, <laughs> Go on. I, I just got to squeeze two things in okay. really quick. One, I don't, wanna, don't, don't get me wrong. I don't want to hop on again because once we get into this conversation, we normally... No, I know. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, just have your little say. I've had my little say. Okay. It, it's frightening what he's done, to be fair. Yeah. For somebody who doesn't go anywhere, move around anywhere, help your team out until it comes to that... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that yeah. quality that you need yeah. to fit like he finishes. I mean, even the goal that was disallowed against Tottenham. You know, he's had one yeah. disallowed against yeah. Liverpool. So it could have been worse or worse. Yeah. Could have been more. More, but I yeah, think yeah. That is just reiterating how bad the rest of them are. Mm -hmm. Also. Yeah. 
So it's hurting them in a way also. You, you, can, you can go next. Mine kind of... Okay, yeah, yeah. You can so go. So one, I think the person that Lewandowski's just because of his hat-trick, uh, who West Ham let go, um, Haller. Yeah. Is it Sebastian, oh, Sebastian Haller. Haller yeah. He's he's not a bad player. No, but I don't think all. I don't think it was a bad move. West Ham letting him go. It just no, didn't I work. Know, I know, yeah, but if you talk, you no. talk about someone that literally knows where the two posts are mm-hmm. and in any way, shape, or form knows how to score. If that's all you need, he's not he's not bad. Especially, I'm sure you get him at a very good price. That's the and problem. For, though, for you're talking about deal. for City. Yeah, yeah, for City. It, that's the problem. That's, that's- it's it's like almost like the the price tag kills him out. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. I yeah, think. and he and he's he's killing. But I don't it disagree with you. Yeah. His price tag is only going up. Second, because you started talking about Ronaldo as well. I don't think he's. I think you can gauge him if you gauge him over the last. If he went to United maybe three seasons ago or whenever he went to Juventus, yeah, you can say he's the poison and the cure because over these last four seasons, I'm sure his numbers wouldn't have added up to it. But I think this season alone, he's already. He, he, I think. Well, he was free, wasn't he? Well, that's my point. I, I'm saying like, well, he's saying the poison the cure to right. Whether how detrimental he is throughout the game, but he's doing way too much for them now. And in this season, like this is like if you were to say like out of the four seasons, this is gonna be the season that makes up for those other numbers. You know, he's already way far ahead mm-hmm. of his schedule. I don't think he's that good. I think he's just ahead of schedule, and because of different circumstances. Your goal scorer, mate. Exactly. Yeah. United so, have. You, you, oh, sorry, oh, there's a the last thing. United scorer. have, dude. United have as many good players that should be able to sacrifice someone yeah. like Ronaldo that can go so, and do all that. That leads exactly into my point so, yeah, that I've yeah. been bursting to say before we move on from Ronaldo because he's too common a topic, you know. Mm. But I mean, that's he, his talent and goal scoring and whatever controversy if you call it that pushes that i don't think he's the poison and the cure because i think if you're i, I just want to get this in there harry Maguire is a bag of shit but if you're man united you can do without one player pressing if he scores you those goals so all other te- oh, nine top teams you can't oh well all other why why not why can't i i think the problem also is bruno fernandez I think the problem also is Pogba. I think the problem also is McTominay. I could name eleven problems on Can the I, field with for Man United. I don't and, think Bruno Fernandez is a problem. I th- I think he works hard. I think he's he's just a rat. But does he's just a does rat? He, I think he's quality. Yeah, but does he? But, he's just a, he's just but a little having rat. if you had another player, if you had Bernardo Silva in there who presses like crazy, you wouldn't notice well, Ronaldo. Yeah, that's why Cavani, you know what I mean? Cavani needs to play with him. But Cavani that's needs the point to do I'm his dirty work. Thought. But that's he's not. But I'm he's. Making. He's making them look, you know, yeah. poor. They are poor. He's making them. He, look he's, bringing them no. he's bringing them. He's bringing them down. He's bringing them down to his pace. Yeah, don't forget his goals. But I disagree. Yesterday, only got them a draw. If they, if they didn't have Sorry, Ronaldo, they would have been two goals. If they didn't have Ronaldo, two goals. There's two goals, yeah. If they didn't have Ronaldo, they'd be bottom of the Champions League group and they'd be sitting in a relegation spot. Yeah, one hundred percent. So he's not, he's more of the cure than he is the poison then, right? Well, no, he's the cure if they win something. But they're not going to win something with the, the diversity they've got with him sort of running away on his own because of what he's doing and leaving everybody else behind. You know what I mean? Well, he's going to be, well, that's what I was saying. He's more of the bad cure enough, than the... Bad enough as a unit anyway. Yeah. That's, what, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the real and problem now. Because, because... That's City, the real problem. It's not his fault. Yeah, no, because but, City play with 10 men normally because Grealish or Sterling's just sitting out on the left who are useless anyway. And then when they got sent down to 10 men, they were still the dominant side. But United can't do that. Do you, Imagine if you had look Ronaldo... At, look at and, United in the Champions League. And, and the problem was Maguire was awful. And this was against mm-hmm. Liverpool sure as well. Was, Maguire and Luke terrible. Shaw were garbage. Uh, you know, and I'm biased against... They've got, they've got to realise who they are now. The no English. Disrespect, no disrespect to West Ham. West Ham have become a better team when they realised we are mm-hmm. going to be better yeah. on the counter-attack. they become a better team realising that. United think they're... they're up there with the top teams and think they can dominate. And it's they hilarious. They've got to realise yeah. we are now going to have to sit in and be a counter-attacking team for us to get any sort of success. Yeah. Which is what they did at Tottenham. You know? They, they can't lose themselves in themselves. Yeah. And they know because we're Man United, 
we don't do that but th- right but that's strictly strategy that's that's of course, like that's you have i mean ronaldo's been like this when he was at his you know what you know what you were getting you know what you were getting you knew what you were getting exactly fergie did the same thing it was like you let him do what he did and you accommodate him yeah he had great players like rooney as well and all that but i mean you can argue you can argue i I just don't think his goals are going to be enough it doesn't matter like like there wasn't enough for juventus last season but leading goal scorer though and there wasn't enough i don't think his goals are going to be even close to being enough for them to win something. Yeah, I still think though, with him they're better off than without him. That that remains to be seen, mate. We're only eleven, oh twelve God. games in. No, it doesn't. It's gonna no, be over the season, hasn't it? Whole, you think Cavani? You think Cavani would be better in that? In that? You know, all right. Let's let's move, here's the thing. Let's move on. But what I want to say, just to end this off, the funniest thing about it all is the only reason. United got uh, went for Ronaldo was because City were in the market because there was talk of him going to City. I don't know. I don't know if that was true or that was just to kick the move into into action. I'm not sure. We'll never know. Yeah. Like we'll never know if it was Ollie's decision or if he had any say. Or... Uh, okay, then then here's another funny thing. Then the only reason Fred is at United because City were in for him. The only reason <laughs> Maguire is at United because City were in for him. The only reason Alexis Sanchez oh, went to United. Yeah. By the way. Sorry. How lucky are them escapes? Yeah, I know, but it's just that could actually be the best transfer business. City yeah, done. it's just Not funny. Signing them. Yeah. No disrespect to the people they did sign. Yeah. You know. Anyway, move on from them. We've done Tottenham. I don't want to talk about them. <laughs> yeah. That you know what? It's made me want to watch them now. It's made me want to watch them more. Whereas in the past, now I want to watch them lose more than ever. Yeah. Ooh. Who United? Yeah. Or, or you want to see Ronaldo pull some crazy shit out of the bag? No. Like he's been doing. No, I you know? don't. I don't want to see that. I, I, I do. See it I a United do. loss is almost as good as a City win. Oh, sorry. I, I like seeing him pull something out of the bag and drawing two two. I, I admire it when it happens. Then, don't you know. get me wrong. Yeah. The two volleys, but you know, don't forget his teammates helping that as yeah. well. Bruno Fernandes has helped in, you know, his goal at Tottenham and his goal, his first goal. Yeah, yeah. At so it's not just while he's standing around waiting for it, the other people who are working are still making things for him also. Yeah. You know, so he's got to pull his tripe the other way. That's my way of thinking. Well, yeah. All right, let's 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 yeah. move on to yeah. another. I, I could hate him forever. Yeah. So I know he's literally going to come score a hat-trick by school against City and he's still going to be like, yeah. I actually try I actually try not to hate him because I know if I talk bad and, and say I hate him, he does bad well. gonna happen to me. <laughs> yeah. Because he's gonna he's gonna go and do what he's doing. Yeah. I right. literally get on my own tearing me head off. We're gonna we're gonna move on he's to actually though one Patreon. Can I just say one more thing? We just can't we just at can't least, move on, can we? Can I just say one more thing? At least yeah. his goals win in the league. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's true. I'm not even keeping track. We'll but we'll see. All, All right. he's got. All right, clear it out. Go I'm going to move on to a topic Connor's going to be happy about, another individual player that I think you and I both doubted. Reese James has been insane. His fini- yeah. his finishing, that little I chip. Ne- I just never thought he was the best player in the world. No, 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 I never did. I said the best right back. Still not. What? And he's not better than Alexander Arnold, mate. Yeah, he's he just- is. It's just not. I think no, no. I think I, I, I one hundred percent will argue to the like to the T that he is better than one Alexander Arnold. My my as a, as a whole right back, not at going forward. I think he will be though. I think he he's will. Still, I think he I will think be. He's he's one of the best. Stick him centre back. He's he's one of the most composed. He's better than any of City defenders on the ball. He's he's just as composed as them. I'm not saying he's as good as centre back as Diaz, but he. I'm not saying he could lead a line of three if you did want to play Alexander Arnold as uh, as the right wing back and then as uh, in, in England and you wanted to play James as the uh, the right of the three in a centre back. That would be perfect. Cancelo on the ball, mate. Why? No. What did you say? Not as good as Cancelo on the ball. No, 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 no. He's not. He's not. But okay, but but Cancelo's also not a right back. He's been demoted to a wing back position. Right back, left back. 
Yeah, he's no, that yeah, he's not a right back or a left back. He he got demoted to a wing back position, and he's called, just a good called, midfielder. Called a fullback, he starts a fullback. Yeah. Well, he plays most of his game in the middle to the final. I, I guarantee Cancelo his whole life has played like center attack and mid, and it's just Pep did what he did with Sinchenko, except to a better degree. No, no, like Sinchen- a, a Sinchenko was a center attack and mid, wasn't? Yeah, but at Juve- yeah, but at Juventus, at Juventus, Can- Cancelo a, a fully. Fully, fully established. Still, a, still a club. Still a right wing back. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying Zinchenko was. No, Zinchenko oh. wasn't at Juventus. No, Zinchenko was a was a it was like sure. a centre mid. Yeah. All right, but it he, wasn't Pep well, that converted. All right, here's him. my point. Because we did a switch, a right. swap with Danilo. Oh yeah. Danilo went to Juventus, and then That's we insane. with Cash and with Cash on oh, top. Oh okay. Well, I'll even still say this: James is better than Cancelo at right back. Like, there's no doubt about mm, that. Okay. Cancelo's just better on the ball. Don't make me regret bri- bringing, <laughs> bringing this you in. You can't say Cancelo's a better right back than James. There's he's no a better way. player than Reese James. He's better on the ball, sure. He's not. He's not bad. No, he, he's there, he's nowhere, like, nowhere in comparison. Right back than James. Yeah. Pardon? We don't need him to play right back because we got a better right back than James already there. Well, I'm Cal- just saying, if if James goes on like two or three more of these runs, you you uh, are definitely going to be sniffing for him. You know. Here's the thing. I think. Uh, I don't, I don't want to turn this into an argument because I'm trying to like tell you how yeah, much. I'll simmer down. I'll simmer down. Yeah. So I think Trent. But well, well, you got to say logical shit. You can't say Cancelo's better than him. You know, like I think he is right now. But I think Reese James is on a trajectory that's going to take over Trent Alexander. I know they're what same age or I mean, got to be close. Yeah, months, I think, in between them. I th- just. I'm not knocking him. I just think we got an abundance of right backs. Yeah, yeah, but I, I yeah. just, I have a feeling. I think once Kyle Walker, because Kyle Walker is obviously getting oh, up yeah, there. Yeah. I, I like, I still love Kyle Walker, but the way Reese James, and this isn't even like a right backs trait, but his fit, the little chip he had, and then, and then just the instinct. I know that it was kind of an open net or whatever for what? his second goal. Yeah, against, but what about uh, his first goal? That's what I'm saying. The yeah, chip. Yeah. No, no, no. That that was the previous game. His first goal. He's he's came, touched it, and put it on his left foot. Then okay, yeah, yeah. Him. Okay. Well, all three of those goals, right? Yeah, yeah, Two yeah, different yeah. games. Impre- like really impressed me. Like maybe yeah. you know. I mean, again, you see. Well, I like him, mate. I like him. I think he's a great player. Yeah. I don't think he's better than Alexander Arnold. Like the second. That's all. I Which haven't seen. Mean, doesn't you, mean you would take Alexander you Arnold where, over him. Put Alexander Arnold and say. Okay, he's just a little bit behind him. I wouldn't mind either of them playing for England. I think Alexander Arnold's lost some of his shine. I think he had a better. Yeah, and and Alexander Arnold's never, he's never been able to defend ever. No, I no one. He, he's, he's what? His shine. I think he's got it back. No, yeah, he's been doing well lately. He's been doing well lately, and yeah, he got like two assists today. One wasn't really assist, but whatever. He's and I'll forever say I don't think James Reese James. Will ever be able to James Reese James? I, I hate that I called him James because I feel like you gotta call him Reese James. Um, I don't think Reese James will ever learn the technique of Alexander Arnold with a dead ball or or necessarily no. that. But Reese James is head and shoulders in every single other category. And plus, Reese James puts in a, a fantastic ball anyway. So it's not like he, he's even in lacking in that category. He is head and shoulders above every single, and I'm not gonna say this again. Every single right back on this fucking planet. All right, I, I in uh, every way, shape, or form. I half regret, <laughs> like sparking well, then, this fire. But I, explain I, how I'm wrong. You know, it, it would who's take. Be, who's it would at, take who's pages. Better def- who's better? Yeah, who's better defensively? Out of who? Any, oh, who? Anyone? Yeah. Any right back? Any right back? Kyle Walker. Defensively, than Reese James. Yes, I would say the same. Probably right. the same pace, well, I just, same strength. Okay, well, I just... This is kind of like the thing where I bowled up Foden like two years ago and and you were kind of skeptical and then you... This is me like now coming on to... like re, Not okay, coming on sure, to Reese yeah. James, but like... Sure. I'm, I'm like... I've seen what he can do and I... Uh, there's just some... There's definitely something there and if I was to guess... Sure, I, yeah. Like, it's the same annoyance because obviously you're watching more City games yeah, and you guys and aren't watching as many absolute, Chelsea yeah. games. And I'm like, how are you guys not yeah. witnessing what's going on? I mean, Reese James didn't play for a, a little while as well. He's been on Chelsea for the last three years. He's no, got, he's I know, got more he's, goals. He was than, injured, wasn't he? He's got, yeah, and he's got and he also went on loads to Wigan. But he's also got more goals than hudson Adoy, who they were interchanging right wing back. He's got more goals than hudson Adoy. Like, I... I 
that just who Bayern wanted. Like Dorm- Dortmund are still like pressing about, you know. Yeah. Which yeah, sure. Ha- have a good have a good finish. Have a good. Uh, he had a good assist. He had a good finish. You know, like um within the last two games. Sure, like let him go do what he's doing, but get him out the way. Go sell him. So if we are playing five in the midfield mm-hmm. or whatever Tuchel's doing, Reese James needs to Reese James needs to play every single game at Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. With you. I agree with you. Yeah. I ju- yeah. Sorry. I didn't. Uh, I didn't yeah. mean to. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you, you say his name and it's just like I'm not listening to anyone. It's just all these all these words I've been thinking about for a while just come out. No, I do. I mean, I mean, it, it, no, I know. Incredible no, I, finishes. All uh, I, I mean, I, all I, three I the know. Goals, I, I know that I'm like getting too much adrenaline and that he's probably not the best right back in the world, <laughs> but. It it I, takes a lot to admit that though. Yeah, I know, but for me, it's like just name someone that's better than him right now, and you can't. Right, now you're trying to start the argument. <laughs> I know, no, I'm just arguing myself. He's so acknowledging it's like, that he's being. I, I'm barred. acknowledging yeah. that I'm like. Don't answer. I'm acknowledging that I'm when you say his name, I'm too wide. Yeah. Albeit that he is okay for both my teams. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, let's move on. Okay. So, so I have Come a qu- I have a question for you. On. Were you at the Gremio game last weekend? The what? Gremio. Who's Gremio? What's Gremio? The what are they? Put <laughs> this joke's falling flat. The Portuguese side, right? Gremio. All right. Anyway, the Gremio supporters <laughs> invaded the pitch and destroyed the VAR cabinet <laughs> on the side of the field. <laughs> And I was just wondering if you... There, but they may have listened to the podcast. Yeah, so I was wondering if you led that charge. There's a five pints in flag waving <laughs> at the front. I have evidence and pictures where I was. Yeah. Yeah. So that, it's just hilarious to me that, like, they've invaded... You know, because, like, pitch invaders come on and, like, they've destroyed... Why destru- they have the at the, at the ground? No, the little cabinet thing with the screen on oh, it. was it? Oh, with the ref looks in. Yeah. <laughs> I just I I thought that was I'm pretty sure Portuguese I wanted to end it over and watch something else. Yeah, I would I would have taken it home with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Nobody so was, was the no no it's just the screen. Oh okay. Yeah. Then we can laugh about it then. Yeah yeah you can't get in it. It's just I mean unless it's robot unless it's. <laughs> we could have took it off and hit somebody over the head. <laughs> no oh nobody was hurt. That's- like the ref. Yeah. No, I don't. Th- I don't think so. But no, I mean, I just no read a one was quick hurt. headline. He's the person that took imagine it. Imagine as now. the ref's face is close to it, looking in it. Somebody gets behind him. <laughs> That'd be funny. It could happen. Could happen. I think they at least waited until the game was over, which was All nice right. one. Okay. But I just said. Well, I think something that, didn't go their way. Oh, then. Hopefully yeah. that doesn't take out VAR's budget because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they have nothing left. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I saw still that headline. Waiting, still waiting for the paint to paint the shed. Yeah. Oh, that was fucking awful. <laughs> um, it looks like Aguero is going to be out for a little while, isn't it? Yeah. Is that like life-threatening? I, I, I don't know exactly what they've said is wrong with him. Like, they've they've uh, um, diagnosed him with cardiac arrhythmia. Because there was that fire, wasn't it? Um, and there's different... There's different... There's different fire that got his lungs scarred. Level up, though, you know? Yeah, they've said they said he'll be out for three months. So I I wonder. There's something called atrial fibrillation. There's there's a what is it? PVC. Yeah. The premature ventricular contractions. There's there's all different different levels of it. You know. Mm-hmm. I mean, look if you if you look at um Ericsson now. Yeah. He's had a, he's had something fitted inside, and he's looking to play again. Yeah, I heard, yeah. He's not allowed to play in Italy, but there was talk about maybe him going back to Ajax. Yeah. Maybe on, you know, because he'd be allowed to play over there. Is so, Ajax? You know, a lot of stuff that they can do today, mate, to sort that out. But it's obviously a scare, isn't it? Yeah. Something to do with your heart. It's You can't take no chances. And and if it's going to take three three months or whatever they've said for him to get right, then then the best thing they can do is I keep mean, him away from him. That's the thing about all these sports scientists that came in. It's like... Yeah, the, like they always had like a fictitious name in the beginning because they were all running around with like laptops and it was like laughable. And it's like, yeah, sure, you can make 
these elite athletes, but there hasn't been as many stroke or heart attacks ever than there has been, or like... Yeah, in, in modern football. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. than there has been yeah, that's, in that's 100 a hundred years. That's so a really good like, point, actually. Are you actually doing justice to the sport? You know? Well, where do your... Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Where do their... Um, their morals lie with health and yeah. physicality. I'm speaking physicality and health fucking slatting at 40 years old 40 plus years old yeah destroying Roma and Mourinho Mar- broke Mourinho's um what 48 home game record in uh, Syria did you see him mm-hmm. running away when they scored the second goal I sent the video yeah where no, he this, kicked the this ball was, oh. this was another one this is the this is the AC Milan uh, Roma oh. game that was a different no, game see it. yeah he did another one where he sprinted away and it was hilarious <laughs> Yeah, broke like Mourinho yeah. broke this record ages ago, and Zlatan just yeah destroyed he's that. German now, isn't he? He's he's what? He's not, he's not of this world. Zlatan Zlatan. recovered from that from the AC tore his ACL and he was back in what six months or something. Less than six months, like five months, five months and three weeks or something like that. And the doctors at United are just well, fair play to him, right? Yeah. Did you see his disallowed goal? No. He's he's. A hairline offside. He's made. He's checked his run. Made a great run in behind. Someone's played the ball over the top. He's chested it, and just <laughs> what you would think an up and coming striker would do. And he's doing it at forty. You know, you know and, he's, he's and he's also sorry. Gone. Uh, he's got a ball and gone one on one with the keeper. He's got fouled for the penalty. Didn't take the penalty. He. You know, right. he's like. It's like it, it's like to me if like you took the confidence of Donald Trump. And mixed it with like the talent of, I mean, you know oh, what I mean? So you're talking about the way I, spe- I was speaking. No, no, right no. Now. I'm saying it's Latin. You know the oh, way it's yeah, Latin yeah. talks about yeah. it? Like, yeah. Um, yeah, I know, yeah. It's, he does think a lot of himself. It's funny right? because yeah. um, they, obviously he has a social media team. They were, After he scored the goal, I think it was like his 400th goal or some crazy number or something like that. Um, they like posted it, like pretending to be him. Um, before while the game was going on, you know, so it was just like they would get like, like uh, no one else scores for like you know trying to be still playing. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. game was going. On. Obviously, he's got that, but like my favorite was when he uh he, when he moved to LA Galaxy, he took out a whole yeah. uh a full page advertisement in the LA Times, and it was just a blank page, and in the middle it just said "You're welcome." Yeah. <laughs> And then he, and in his debut, he goes and and scores, scores like three 40, crazy goals, yeah, forty yeah. yard goal, and then. That's right, Ronnie. Yeah, I, th- I think he scored two, and they won the game, and then. But he scored, he scored like a the halfway line. Yeah, he's, then... yeah. But um. But he's a beast, isn't he? Yeah. He's yeah. Before we well, uh. Stop, Sergio. It's nothing serious, and yeah. yeah. And they find out, and you know. I I hope he does well at Barca. Yeah, you know. Yeah, both I, of them. Yeah, we always do. Get back playing. Yeah. I'm sure, well, you know, once you get the clear, you know the. I think you can get yourself back to some sort of standard again, without yeah. without the worry. I mean, both young. I mean, Ericsson especially young, <clears> you know. <throat> but both of them young to be dealing with that stuff, and you know. Yeah, it's frightening, though, isn't it? It's frightening. Yeah, yeah but, they, they have I no mean, clue. So, you know, obviously he's back in training and he's back out there and and doing his stuff. And yeah, quality player as well. Do you ever a like quality player? Do you ever push yeah. yourself as hard as again? Again, thinking no one knows how this happened. Yeah, there's well, going to be a, a like a a fear, isn't there, in yeah, the back of your of mind? Course. Yeah, it's psychologically you've you've got to get over that hurdle, anyone. Or do you even want to? Because does it cause it again? You know. Yeah. Well. D- yeah. Only, only he's going to know that. He's going to make that decision. You know. Yeah. I mean, if both had good enough careers, you know, if if worst comes to the worst, it was to stop today. That's right. Then, then they both had yeah, yeah. very good careers. You right, know? and they were. I don't just mean financially. <clears throat> right, as, yeah. As, as footballers, you know. Yeah, it's... established. Yeah, but they work. They work. Family's more important. And yeah, yeah. It's, it's away with their home. It's a funny podcast, isn't it? It's the yeah. same. <laughs> it's the same thing with uh, Jimenez, isn't it? He he hit the post. With his head, yeah. He hit the post with a header, 
um, the other day, and that would have been his first header he scored since it, he's been back. And and you can tell with the confidence he has, he dives into, he's flying yeah. into things. He's, he looks good. He looks. He's not he looked good against Everton. In, didn't he? in any way, shape, or form, he's not. I'm surprised somebody hasn't gone and snapped him up, mate. To be fair, oh, yeah. he's he's quality. He's just on the ball as well, you know. Yeah, there big and strong too. No, never mind Haller. I think I think he's a he's a better striker than uh, Sebastian Haller. I just say him because he's been doing well in the Champions League. Yeah, he is better. Yeah, yeah. But we've got a big weekend coming up, haven't we? Yeah. Be- yeah before yeah, we yeah. get to that, though, oh. <laughs> I did want a special mention. Though I was preparing the notes before uh, today's games, and Bournemouth obviously just lost today against Preston, but they were on a loss. eleven game unbeaten streak before this. Top of the league yeah. by I think two points. Or unless that... Oh, yeah, they were, yeah, they were five points clear. I think West Brom had a win today and Fulham had a big win at Blackburn. Yeah, so... so Fulham won. So Fulham, so Fulham yeah. on third... Yeah, so Fulham, so Fulham on... Again. Yeah. There's only Bournemouth and Liverpool who hadn't lost the game. Yeah. Yeah. In, in the four leagues. Yeah, so, I mean, they're still sitting at the top of the league, two points clear, like... Never mind. Huh. No, there's only, like... Three or four defenders that haven't conceded a goal, and now it's down to like two. And um, well, that's that's a yeah. st- I think that's a stupid stat. I know, it- I know. That's why I laughed and then I, I didn't yeah. want to say it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I mean, still, I think Bour- Bournemouth coming back up. Um, They'll bounce right back. Yeah. Um. All right. So let's get into the weekend. Then we've got uh big games for both uh man. I mean, we've got the Manchester derby Saturday. You know, to kick off the weekend. Yeah. At Old Trafford, yeah. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't worry about that being away. From, well, they'd say it's away from home, isn't it? But you it's do better more away like from a home home. game, especially yeah. for the fans. Because the United fans have to travel further yeah. to get to uh-huh. Old Trafford <laughs> from London and Ireland yeah. and Scandinavia. Asia, and USA, yeah. And, and for the City fans, it's just around the corner. <laughs> Hold on. Do you, want, do you want to back up United fans? That's if they show up. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Stop at the beginning, mate. They might have left after fifteen minutes, though. Yeah, yeah. They definitely show up. They just work out at half time. You you desperately need to win this because we have, I think Burnley next, and it's just like, I I don't I think Liverpool. You're saying you're about Salah Burnley? and his form. Yeah, have to drop off. Burnley? Pardon? Are you away to Burnley? No home. No home. Oh, okay. But um, so the the good thing, I mean, West Ham are joint points with City mm-hmm. third and fourth but West Ham could go beat Liverpool on Sunday which I heavily believe before we get onto that let's first of all predictions for City United what do you think well we, we're going to do the predicted anyway aren't we I know yeah but I was like putting you guys on the spot so you have to stick to it but what if we forget what scores we've said now no I don't I, no no this is this is what Jordan always says to me he's like why did you say something different than you said on the podcast it's like because I it's because there's two-day difference, you know, yeah. Like, the, what we lock in now is... You get two, is, two, two, two uh, goes at it. <laughs> what we lock, what we lock in I now... Think, I think it's going to be 3-1 to City. I was going to say 3-0. I'm more, I'm more intrigued as the three. lineup, mate. I think he's going to leave Grealish out. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I hope so. Yeah. I, I think, think he's going to play... I think he's going to play De Bruyne as a false nine. He's going to put... He's going to put Jesus... On the right, Foden on the right, left. Because of Shaw bombing on, because you know he'll work his balls off. Yeah. I think he's going to have Foden on the left. I think he's going to have um, uh, Bernardo Silva. Yeah. Gundogan with Rodri behind them. Yeah. Yeah. I think, that, I think that's how he's going to work it. And then the back four without Laporte is suspended. Yeah, but it'd be Diaz and Diaz, Stones. Stones. Stones has come in and done, yeah. done well. And now he's going to... Yeah, not his fault. Though. Though. But, yeah, yeah. But it still won't change anything. Cancelo, Walker, yeah. Cancelo and Walker, yeah. Best right back and I think them. Cancelo and Foden, if they play, like they can connect like they did at Anfield, mate. Like, yeah. It's going to yeah. be it. a trounce almost, like to where it would be 3 0 and United maybe got the first goal in the beginning or at the end of the game. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, and I'm going to stick to this 4 0 City. Jesus Christ. 4 0 City? Going bold. You don't think Ronaldo will score? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going two 0 and I I can't. You also think don't because think Ronaldo will score. Said. Yeah, 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 but I'm two saying nil. because you said four 0 Yeah, two 0 City. Two 0 Yeah. 
Yeah. Three okay. one, two nil, four nil. I think t- I think two nil. I think a couple of fucking shots off the bar. I think there could be three or four more goals in the game, but it just didn't. Yeah. I mean, no. yeah. I think if, if Rodri sort of takes care of uh, Fernandez, yeah, a little bit instead of worrying about himself playing, yeah, I think if he does that, then you've got Gundogan and and it's a wrong Bernardo three. Silva just just a little bit in front, yeah, of him creating, and then De Bruyne, Foden, and, and Jesus, I think will cause them problems. I think that's a yeah. I think that actually is the best but way to start because I think, I think he starts Cavani against you guys though, and he's he's a not instead of Ronaldo next to him. Maybe I think yeah. Either way, I think if Cavani starts against you, I think you have to change. He up. won't. He won't start you, Cavani. You're pressing. Uh, well, because he's not going to start. He's not going to start two strikers against well, us. Cavani presses more than like anyone. No, in the no. League, yeah, I'm not right? saying that. And you guys have possession, so like, <clears throat> he'll bring him. How on. do you get the ball? You know. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's. I mean, it's a good point. I just don't. I don't think Solskjaer has that brain for. You know. Varane's well, out, and I can't see him. He should really bring a third centre back. Yeah. Well, they just started. Well, if Maguire is your first they? pick, who well, else are you bringing? In? Well, yeah. <laughs> they just yeah. changed the five at the back. I know. He's got to be got out, mate. He's got to be got out early doors, Maguire. Yeah. He's not. He's he's not in the best of form. Yeah. Right terri- he's terrible. This is his. This is his. Who he is? Yeah. I was player. about to say. Yeah. I, I mean, Eric Bay looked all right. Yeah. Yesterday. To be fair to. He, yeah, but he's Lindelof. Lindelof's injured or uh, bring back that... Phil Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Bay is absolutely terrible on the ball. He's another one that you could absolutely just like defensively though, mate. He, he did all right yesterday. He's he's got a he's got a tracking and like but defensively like staying with Maguire, like if you they're trying to keep a high line, that they, they are the most unorganized. No, I don't think they will keep a high line, mate. I think they're gonna no, sit no. back. I'm, 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 yeah. And yeah. I, and and to be fair, the only worrying thing is that's when teams sort of Take us on. Yeah, we've. we've I'm not worried deep. about the Palace game, mate. I, I don't. I don't. No, it doesn't worry you me. You said you get one of those like, every year, don't you? Well, they beat us last season. Yeah, yeah. We've said it before. You know, they did it with Wolves at home. They did it with Leicester at home. They done it with West Ham at home, and still gone on and done great things. I'm. I'm not yeah. concerned on results. You know, um, I think this is the best game to have after a defeat like that at home. Yeah. To, to go and play them like theirs was to go and play Tottenham mm-hmm. away. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather that than look if if they find half the form they, they had at Chelsea or at Anfield, they they shouldn't be worried. Yeah. I'm not I'm not worried. You uh, know, but but like I said earlier with the Ronaldo thing, it's great going, timing. And is he going to score? Yeah. Just because of all the things I've said, it's it's good timing for a derby. Either way, you know whether. Yeah. It's gonna get fucked up or not? Yeah. Well, they had some good results against us over the last few years. Yeah. Well. yeah. And if yeah, any, we could we could have won the league against them. What was that two years ago? Yeah. yeah and then, like that, yeah. 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 I mean, it, it's never it's never a, a given. Obviously, no matter what form United's in, I think it's always a, they're always up for a game. I just you can't play. I'm not Keith. gonna have I'm not that's... gonna have Liverpool scoring that many at Old Trafford. It does not getting close to it. That's yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, they exactly. could have they could have got eight if they wanted to. Yeah, know? they slowed. They just turned. They they put on the brakes. I think we need to come out the blocks really, really quickly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Get them back. The, get them back. Keep them in. Yeah. Keep going with them. I mean, City look in the first twenty minutes of every game every of the season. Single, every single City game. look like we could score like three or four goals. Problem is if we don't know. No, I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then like it's like almost like the, I don't know what it is. It, you know, I think I've got I've got some things, some some thoughts on Jack Grealish where I think he needs a few games on the bench. I just he's got a lot to live up to with that but price tag. He's positive, mate. He's got to be more positive. He's to me he's he's checking back too much and and. Playing the simple thing, I tell you, he played one great ball today for Cancelo. Oh, he did when Cancelo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit the post, yeah. But other than that, it's like the best moment of the first half, to be honest with you. Yeah. Even though we did score. Yeah. I just the most creative moment, I think. Anyway. I yeah, I just think. But he's got to bring himself more out of himself. He's got to show more. Yeah. You know, I think you know why he's settled in. We're winning games. He's, you know, he's he's being involved in a lot of the play without really going and, and showing everything. 
I think I, he's got a lot more to offer. I, I, I'm, I, I I'm think starting, he has. I'm starting I think to he has it. no more to offer. I'm, I, he might. He might not. He's not shown one thing <clears throat> that he can I, offer it, to me, anymore. It's, at Villa or City. To me, it's getting to the point where okay, you spend a hundred million. Where you know, come on, where, where is it? Yeah, like, where's that value? Look, it's like I get. I get the feeling. Look, when Mars is on there, you you feel like something's going to happen. Yeah, course. I'm not feeling that with him. Not at all. But it you did know, take Mars a season. I will say that. Yeah, yeah but he was also outstanding the previous season. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it takes time, you know. I don't I don't believe he'll start Sterling. Use a... He scored today, Mahrez. I don't even think he'll start Mahrez, and I, and I like Mahrez. Yeah. You know? I just think he'll have get, Jesus on that right. Yeah. I get your point. It reminds me of us playing Madrid, and I, I feel like I call back to this game all the time but he played him on the left but that was that was so crucial that game no I know what happened well this I mean this is crucial that's what I'm saying it was a staple in in Pep and what right right so that's why I think he was stronger than Wan Bissaka and he lost Foden yeah and Stello coming at him down this side I think I think he's used to taking taking care of his his getting forward a little bit more I think you're you're exactly right with that starting lineup yeah for those reasons yeah that that starting lineup destroys United. Yeah. If he can break them down in With, positions even at like that. United at the luckiest. Yeah. Yeah. And then Diaz will take care of Ronaldo. Portugal on Portugal. You'd hope so, fine. but I mean, Diaz... <clears throat> Alright, before you... Are you no, going to no, start no, shit-talking no, 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 Diaz? No. He, what did he do? He did so Like, he had something the other day and it's just like... I don't know. Like I, I think like because you're you're a huge Diaz fan and you're, yeah, you're saying them. how like he's got this great trajectory and all that. I, I, do, I really do. I just don't. I, I don't think it's there just yet. But I, I, I think other than Van Dijk, he's the best Premier League defender in the Premier League. Yeah, by a large margin. I think them two are ahead of most people. But I do think he has he has a lot of weird stuff where it's like. Um, decision whether it's decision making or or just split decision making it's like I guess you could say that same thing where he he lacks you know which can which can like I for some reason when you said Diaz now I'm just thinking of Diaz Ronaldo going by Diaz and Diaz just grabbing him and pulling him down you know getting sent off getting a penalty quality. getting I think he's top quality and I think he's the main one now and it's him and either Laporte or Stones oh yeah oh I completely agree with that I'm, I, I was trying to it feels like that, yeah. I was trying to say to Connor uh, and, and like I don't want to you know we're, we're talking a lot about Man City we'll get to the West Ham Liverpool game and it's still a big I don't want to I don't want West Ham fans to tune out just yet um, but I do want to say we, we were having a, a conversation where we were talking about uh, uh, Diaz uh, being like the like I, I was saying he kind of like took over that spirit of company in, in like leadership. I mean, you see you see the way oh, he talks yeah. to the other players and the way yeah, he organizes, yeah, yeah. which was something we lacked when company left. I mean, no one could ever replace company, but it's like they like City have found that next kind yeah. of voice in the dress. It seems That's like a voice. He'll be there for 10 years. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, he's only 25, is he? Yeah, 24, 25. There's a lack of leadership. Sorry. There's a lack of leadership in every single club on this planet right now. And the sheer fact that you have him in the bag like that is, is yeah. great, you know? I mean, it'll be a great game. Uh, it's early as shit for us here in the US. 8.30. It's not bad. It's early. It's not, not, I know, but... But to roll out of bed and be that excited, because I mean, it's yeah, like the Norwich Chelsea game was seven thirty, and we were four 0 up, and I was <laughs> falling asleep. So it's like, yeah, but it's not. It's a cha- you were playing a championship side. You sorry, know? I mean, so you know, we're also top in the league as well. So <laughs> so I'm, all right, I'm gonna throw it out there as well. If you're gonna ask us the result, I see West Ham winning one 0 I like it. Yeah, I think they will. I think they'll concede. Are you, are you considering? Are you considering what Liverpool have been? I'm gonna been say doing? I'm gonna say two one two one West Ham. Yeah, I'm considering Brighton going to Anfield and being two 0 down and still and still looking as good as them. To be honest with you, football wise, yeah, mm-hmm. they open them up. You know, I, I won't I won't say West Ham will open them up like because they, they don't play as expansive as Brighton. Yeah, but I can see them. You know, they, they can but they're, they're as clinical as Brighton. 
I can see them containing Liverpool because of the style of play right now. Mm -hmm. And I can see Antonio or somebody nicking one on the break. Maybe Ben Rama. Well, yeah, well, Liverpool are one of the... If you have a solid team, they're one of the easiest teams to play because you know exactly... You know their formation before they're going to put it out. They're one of the only teams right now where you know exactly who they're going to play. Mm -hmm. So you can adapt to that, you know? Yeah, they have a core 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and Salah has to run out of form at some point, piece, like you've been saying. Yeah. Yeah. Set pieces, he, yeah, yeah. You know, as long as we can contain them, I think we can nick a 1-0 win. I really do. I'm Plus gonna... with what's riding on the game. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, 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 don't, think there's, I don't think there's any fear in West Ham mm -hmm. anymore. I don't think there's a lot of pressure on them mm -hmm. to go out and get results. I think it's just happening. I think, I think I think the only thing they'll consider is doubling up on Salah. But other than that, I think I think they do, and I agree with you. I think it will be one 0 Well, look, do, they they're already set well, up to with, double up. Three centre backs anyway. Because they'll play. Cre but look, you've got Cress. You go. But then you Cresswell. need Cresswell not bombing on as much. No? Yeah. Which he's he's probably if not the best person on the ball to put in crosses for West Ham. You know. Yeah, but he has been playing left of that three. So and, yeah, you got they're, to, they're already yeah. West now, mate. They've got enough I know, yeah, yeah, and and you got enough going forward where you don't need someone that's consistently outside point balls. Outside and, you know. But that's where he's been playing. Hmm. They haven't been playing like he's been, he played there. Um, what was I it? Think he's been playing with a back four, mate. To be honest with you. Oh, I'm Moyes. Sh he's he's been playing a four-two-three-one. I'm sure um, against against he might, go, he might go to these centre backs against Liverpool. Yeah, I think he's wait, playing a four-two-three-one. Yeah. Okay, one. against Villa he did, yeah. But I'm sure the game before, I'm sure against City there was uh, two left back, wasn't it? Um, Creswell and uh, Masuaku against City. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it. It lines up rotating, as a four-two-three-one. No, I think he was just rotating there, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. Played, yeah. Yeah. He may have even played Masawaka on the left in that three behind the front back. Well, that's how the lineup looks. And just, and just but... park the bus to where, to where it's like, yeah. Yeah, but I, I still think, yeah. I mean... I think he might go with three centre-offs. I'm not... Just because it's Liverpool. I could see him I could see him playing Creswell left of the three and then Masawaka on the left. If it... they've got the high three like, like they normally do. Yeah. Then he might go with a back five. Yeah. And I wouldn't blame him. No, you, you know, United made that mistake, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. And you, and you could always. I, I know Van Dijk's back. He's obviously not to his tip-top shape, but um, even having a back five, you, you know, you can still go Henderson, Fabinho in the middle of midfield. You know, it's it's a joke. You know, like you you can go you can go dominate Liverpool and still play a back five. I think you make a good point, though. Liverpool are always going to play that four three three. Yeah, with the in, with the the six. And Whether the it's two. Firmino or Jota, in and out of the three. Yeah. You know, but it works. So I mean, of course it does. It's gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be a great weekend of football. And like I said, what we're gonna do for our Patreon subscribers is Saturday, uh, after the City game, we're gonna get on a three-way call. If you've got any questions too, or any thoughts about the game. Uh, we want to hear about that, and you can on the Patreon. You can go and you can type in uh, any questions you have and, and send them to us. Um, you know, if you're already on the Patreon, you could just log in there. But if you're not, Patreon.com/slash Five Pints In, um, and then also we'll be putting out the uncut versions of all the episodes for people on there as well. Um, so, was there anything else? We've got our we've got our predictions. Did you say your prediction for Liverpool West Ham? I I think. We've got one nil. We've got two one. You got two one. West Ham. Yeah. Don't be afraid to say Liverpool. Come. It could I happen. know. I know. Yeah. And it's almost stupid to not say Liverpool because of what they've been doing. Yeah. Um. No. One nil. West Ham. One nil. Right. You know what? Just because you said one nil, I'm gonna go two nil. Just so we don't have the same result. I think one nil. If anything, I think Liverpool crumble. They sneak another one. I just hope I hope we get at them. Yeah. And really, even if he does play three centre backs, I still hope we get get at them. Hey, down set, so. set pieces. You're gonna have at least they'll five. On. They'll bomb on and leave them spaces down there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hey, Salah. Like you say, they are one of the top teams in the league anyway. For 
getting goals from set pieces. Yeah, but yeah, what West Ham? I don't care how how it goes in. I mean, first. yeah, it got yeah. It doesn't yeah. I mean, look what happened at Tottenham with Harry Kane not marking Antonio. Pool, you know, the only West Ham fan, probably. Oh, you're going down to L- oh, Lake Worth? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go where the supporters club is. You don't want to do that, trust me. No, we can't do stuff there. The pub here yeah. is a Liverpool pub. I, I, you just can't. <laughs> it transformed into a Chelsea one. It did. Well, over here, sometimes it's whatever team is doing the best. Yeah. yeah well, it was almost a City one, but... It wasn't. I was always the only <laughs> City fan in there. Yeah, that, that's definitely true. Yeah. Uh, there's one other, but I kicked him out. Yeah, <laughs> you can only be Can't one only gay be... in the village. Well, there's either a... <laughs> <laughs> there's either got to be a lot of us or just one. So, um, David, <laughs> David, all right, David, guys, David Silver. <laughs> all right, guys, it's been good having a beer. Don't forget, guys, we are up in the Patreon, like oh, I yeah. like I just mentioned, yeah. patreoncom slash five pints in. Um, send, keep sending in those questions. We had the comment today, uh, from the Patreon subscriber, but. We love to hear from you guys. If you want to submit any videos, we haven't done this in a little while, but five five pints in dot com slash submit. You can record a video and submit it right to there. We'll play it on the on the episode. People will see it on the YouTube. People will hear it on the podcast platforms. Um, get your question in, and you know we'll we'll talk about it, and we may or may not answer it, but we'll definitely talk about it. Before yeah, you... we go, George, can I just ask what's happened to your hair? My hair? Yeah. What's going on with it? Got, like, I just don't think he's gelled it. all like fluffy. Do I? I don't know. I was going to say, don't be surprised don't if you get... Don't you mold it? Don't you normally mold it with the wax? I do, yeah, but I'm I'm now I'm now work from home, you know, so I, I, I didn't... Oh, right. Did somebody get showered on it? No, yeah. I did. I went to the gym at, he's at 12. A, he's actually naked right now on the <laughs> table. <laughs> it's them work from home pants. They're see-through. Oh, okay, I was well, going to say, don't be surprised if you get an, an anonymous... Um, Reese James question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. To that point, we'll, we'll we'll just skip the question. To your point, I'll gel my hair next time. And to my point, it's good having a beer with you guys. Talk to you next time. Yeah. Cheers, guys. See you. Uh,